Tonight, smoking's got competition. I miss the good old days of every movie was turned into a video game. For everyone who knows me, I love to collect licensed games. Good, bad, they all have a certain charm. So I decided to add Constantine on PlayStation 2 to my collection, a game based on the 2005 movie of the same name starring Keanu Reeves, which was based on the comic books from the same name. So in which pile does it end? In the trash? The so bad it's good or just plain good? Let's find out. The story follows the movie loosely. The demon hunter known as John Constantine, he must discover why the forces of evil are out in force. It's very similar to the movie in most parts. They even recreated the amazing intro from the movie. Of course, they took liberties. It's not 100% accurate. The different bits are mostly to explain things like how we managed to change the water of the hospital to holy water. A lot of characters from the movie appear in this game. You have John Constantine, Angela, you got Beeman, Gabriel, Bathazar, Chaz, played by Shia LaBeouf, is not there for some reason, which is sad. Some of the actors from the movie reprise their voices. Sadly, though, Keanu Reeves does not voice Constantine. I'll find a way. You distract the cops. I was saving this. Stormcrow, that's powerful magic. Sure you want to give it away, father? So if you're a fan of the movie, then this will not blow you out of the water. And if you are, it's not the greatest story in gaming, but it's definitely fun. The graphics in this game are cool. A lot of the levels are pretty much directly from the movie. And the attention to detail was impressive for a movie tie-in game. For example, there's an apartment where there are a lot of water bottles on the floor. I may be easily impressed, but I found it cool to see that in the game. The hell levels are like in the movie, and to be honest, I found it really impressive for a PlayStation 2 game. The trees were on fire, and they were blowing with the wind. I just find that impressive that he could pull this off on this console. The characters look good, maybe less in cutscenes. Like, I never know if they had the likeness to Keanu Reeves because sometimes he looks like him and sometimes he looks completely different. You need my help. The game model looked more like him, so I guess they had the likeness. I guess it's just the technology of the cutscenes. And the models used in the cutscenes look like early CGI, so maybe that's why I never know it's Keanu or not. Soundwise, it does get the job done. I really love the music choices in this. You can go from rock music to more blues, which I really adore. The voice acting is good, but it's 2000s voice acting. It sounds like they are in the booth. William Hope is credited as a voice actor for Constantine, if I trust IMDb. He played Mikhail in the Resident Evil 3 remake, and he does a cool job. Sometimes it's less obvious, but for the most part, he sounds like Keanu Reeves. The rest of the cast is cool, and it was a nice touch to get Tilda Swinton in this. This game is basically Max Payne with spells and without bullet time. Well, there's some sort of bullet time. You have a 180 spin move to look behind you, kind of like the Resident Evil games, but in slow motion. To be honest, I don't think it works that well, and I used it once or twice just to try it out. The shooting is good, the weapons are great. You have dual pistols, holy shotgun, a nail launcher that once you upgrade to explosive nails, it's pretty much OP. You have holy water grenades, Constantine has a nice arsenal, and you have a few spells that can help you. They're a little bit complicated to pull off, especially when surrounded by enemies. Once you pull it off, it's really satisfying. 
Character uses auto jumping and auto climbing similar to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Jumping is fine, but climbing can be awkward because sometimes it doesn't want to climb or things that you think you can climb, but you can't, but the game does not tell you that. So it can be quite confusing. You encounter the same type of enemies and bosses. There are not many types of enemies. There's a boss from the movie. And the typical enemies are the demons from the movie. There are new enemies created for this game, but it really fits the universe of the game. The maps and level design can be confusing. Sometimes I was close to looking up a guide on the internet. It was very old school in that regard. At least they give you demon vision to help you with clues so that can help a little bit. You can heal by drinking water and the canteen system reminds me of Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. And more recently Mad Max on the PS4 and Xbox One. I love that system. The limited health regen. They also added some puzzles. Some are more obvious than others. Some are really clever. It was a nice change of pace in between the shooting parts. So here are my final thoughts. Constantine is a good adaptation of the movie. It feels rushed in certain areas, especially the cutscenes. The frame rate can drop a lot when many enemies are on screen, but overall it's still a fun experience. I give it a 3.5 out of 5.